So Taylor Swift has a new Netflix documentary. And they released the trailer for this thing. And it is spectacular. It is spectacularly awful. It is wonderful in every way. It's, it's a parody of itself. It's sort of like the Cats trailer. Like you watch it and you're like, this can't be real. This can't be real. Like this isn't real, right? Like she's making fun of herself, right? No, wrong. It is completely sincere. It is completely and utterly sincere. Now listen, I'm no Taylor Swift fan. I used to have this argument with my producer, Senya. Many a day, we would argue about the merits of Taylor Swift. And I would say she's overrated. And Senya would say, no, she's the greatest songwriter of the last 190 years. Well, I think we can both agree. Senya, wherever you are today, I think we can both agree that this particular documentary trailer is one of the greatest things in history and also one of the worst things in history. So Taylor Swift, you have to recognize that Taylor Swift's whole spiel is that she was the the young girl who wrote her own songs and was charming and somewhat innocent. And then she had to feminist it up, gang, because she got pressure from the media. And the media said, where is Taylor Swift? Why won't Taylor Swift sound off about same-sex marriage? Taylor Swift's silence is deafening on transgender bathrooms. Why won't Taylor Swift comment on whether Fallon Fox should be able to fight women? Where is Taylor Swift when you need her discussing climate change? And Taylor Swift, after a few years of this and saying nothing, she decided, you know what? They're right. I got to get woke or go broke, baby. So now they've cut this this Netflix documentary trailer. And it is so good that I'm going to play it for you. I'm going to stop and start it because I, I must comment on it. Every element of this is glorious. From the background music to the cues to the language that she uses, it is all so manipulative. It is all so mechanistic. You can see all the gears moving in real time. She's trying to show that this is the authentic Taylor Swift. All it shows is that she was always a media creation and it is wonderful in every way. There's a movie, if you haven't seen it and you don't mind like R-rated humor, like very R-rated humor, there's a movie called Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping. And the basic plot of the movie is that there is a, a person who is a pop star played by Andy Samberg and he cuts an album, becomes a big hit and then he starts to lose popularity and he realizes that he has to go political. And one of the songs that he cuts is a song called Equal Rights, I'm Not Gay. And the entire song is about same-sex marriage and how wonderful it is. But he keeps having to interject and explain that he's not gay because he's uncomfortable with the fact that anybody might think he's gay. So he keeps talking about people should be able to marry each other. Sports! Right? It's, it's fantastic. And the entire movie is basically that. Okay, this trailer is the trailer for Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping 2, Taylor Swift edition. Let's play this thing, gang. It's fantastic. Just gonna go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Not get dead face. Ready to do this? Ready. Totally ready. She's a victim, guys. She's such a victim. Throughout my whole career, label executives would just say, a nice girl doesn't force their opinions on people. A nice girl smiles and waves and says thank you. I became the person everyone wanted me to be. Pause it, please. It's spectacular. It's so spectacular. The sad background piano music. Dun, 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 dun. And oh my God, it's so sad. It was the label executives, guys. It wasn't her. It wasn't that she was working in order to have a big career by not offending people. Label executives said crazy things like, don't be mean to people and say thank you and please and eat with a fork and knife and keep your elbows off the table and don't jump into politics because you're just a musician. But they were holding me back. You know, they were enshrouding me. If you actually could see this, this is why you should subscribe so you can see this nonsense. They actually have in the footage her putting on like a black cloak because it's just showing how they were enshrouding her, enshrouding her in the cloak of patriarchy. But don't worry, guys, the music will rise. And as the music rises, you will see that Taylor Swift is, in fact, a woke political feminist. Let the music rise. Taylor, free yourself, Taylor. Go, Taylor, go. I, I think that Taylor Swift, she is annoying. All of her model friends. She's too good. Boy, guys like a tree. She's too skinny. Nobody physically saw me for a year. And that was what I thought they wanted. I had to deconstruct an entire belief system, toss it out, and reject it. American glory faded before me. It woke me up from constantly feeling like I was fighting for people's respect. I saw the scoreboard and ran for my life. It was happiness without anyone else's input. Yes, 
I want to do this. I need to be on the right side of history. She needs to be on the right side of history, guys. Silence on politics. She's using her voice politics. in a whole new way. Yes. <laughs> Never find another like me. Oh. It feels f***ing awesome. <laughs> The music grows, guys. Did you hear it, Rise? My favorite part, okay, there's so many good things about this trailer. So many good things. Stop it for a second, please. So many great things about this trailer. So I love the part where they're like, I disappeared for a year. There's footage of her. No one saw her for a year except the camera, except the camera that was following her for a year, apparently. And then I, I, it's like every element of this is so wonderful. Every element of it is so glorious. And then she she realized that she was li she wasn't living for herself, guys. The hundreds of millions of dollars that she was worth, and the throngs of admiring young women, it was not for her. She was only she wasn't living for herself. She was living for the label executives, guys. And then she realized it was time to use her voice in a new way to say the most hackneyed, trite, politically leftist garbage she could possibly think of to cut a song about gay marriage 10 years after it was legalized. I mean, that was what was necessary. And that is when the music started to rise and she became a feminist hero. And oh my God. And then the, the little cutaway where she's to show that she's authentic, that these songs are not produced by other people. The little cutaway of her with like her friend on the couch, like me, he, he, like, oh my God, guys, we just came up with, we just came up with Sgt. Pepper, guys. It's unbelievable. This is, uh, oh, the genius, the workings of the mind. Oh. Okay, the re just, we have to finish the trailer because we have to, because it is obligated by law for us to finish this trailer. Because if we do not, then we will have misserved our own constituents. But play the end of this trailer. It's so good. It's so good. I feel really good about not feeling muzzled anymore. She's not muzzled, guys. Doing. It's beyond Nothing everything I think I know. This moment. What are you doing? I'm turning on my party shoes for vocals. Good. We've never really gotten a good take without them, have we? No. Wow. She's, it's beyond everything I thought I knew. Well, see, that's what's weird about that is what I thought I knew is that she was a complete media creation and creation by her managers. And now what I think I know is that she's a complete media creation and a creation by her managers, except now they told her that she better get woke. And so she got woke, and now they produced an entire sop piece documentary about her to explain that she was always woke. It's just she was muzzled because nothing says muzzled quite like being a hundred million dollar singer who can say anything she wants at any time and say like literally anything. That, that's muzzling, guys. It was just, I mean, it was like the Soviet Union in her life. And then she broke free. She broke free of the shackles and she became a fierce, independent, fierce, fierce, with an S at the end, fierce, independent woman. Okay, this is what, this is why Donald Trump is president. I'm sorry to tell you this. This is why Donald Trump is president. Because everyone who watches this thing, who has a semi-functional prefrontal cortex, understands how produced and stupid this is. And the fact that these are our cultural betters lecturing us all. And that, and that we're supposed to take this seriously. That now when Taylor Swift says, I think Donald Trump is a sexist, we're supposed to be like, oh my God, you know what? She was muzzled before, but now she speaks only truth, Taylor Swift. She speaks only truth. She's a feminist hero. I love it so much. I want to take that. I want to frame the entire trailer. I want that entire trailer on my wall so I can just hit that button and revel in the sophistry and the production value and the over-the-top self-congratulation of the celebrity class. Where is Ricky Gervais when you need him? That is spectacular stuff. And anybody who buys into the myth of Taylor Swift at this point, my goodness, guys, that is one of the most produced human beings on planet Earth. And it just shows. And the attempts at authenticity are so rich and rewarding and wonderful.